five bait banger coming at you live and direct in full effect in this video. Top five summertime baits. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five summertime heaters. My favorite five baits to throw in the summertime. Technically it's going to be five bait categories. As you can see I have a bunch of stuff laid out here on the table and I'm going to show you guys my favorite things to throw in the summertime when it comes to these five bait categories. Before we get too far into it, if this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are on the road to 100k, currently sitting around 11,400 subscribers and I would love to have you guys on board with what we have going on over here. We're on a mission to get that silver play button help me fill the bar subscribe to the channel turn those notifications on so you catch all my future uploads now before we get into the baits i have a nice big box here for my friends over at waterland they're the people that make the sunglasses that you always see me wearing i'm gonna get off into here we have a lot of stuff so i'm gonna make it quick we'll go through and see what they sent us let's check out what all we have in the box first up new flat bill heater waterland fishing nice for those of you guys that don't know about Waterland, they are the glasses that I wear exclusively in my videos. Angler born, quality built, fishing optics. And we have an awesome pack of stuff here from them. That looks like a hooded sun shirt. Sick blue color there on that one. There's another one, Waterland fishing. Hooded sun shirts, gotta protect my skin while I'm out there on the boat all day. Sometimes I don't do a very good job. Here's another one. There's a little gray action. Waterland hooded sun shirt, heather gray. What else we got in here? Waterland t-shirt. Nice. Another Waterland t-shirt. Nice. Like I said, I'm just gonna go through this stuff quick, man. Get up into the base as fast as I can for you guys. It looks like a... What is this? This looks like a hoodie? Or what is this? Maybe a long sleeve? Oh, it's like a... It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a long sleeve type shirt, man. That'd be good for uh, fall time when it, oh yeah, hooded, long sleeve. Oh, it's another sun shirt. No, it's like black, hooded, thicker type material. That'd be great for a uh, fall transition fishing right there. Let's get a look at that bad boy. Waterland fishing. Nice. All right. Stoked on that, man, for when it gets a little cooler. Won't be needing that anytime soon. All right. We got some more action in here. We got some more action in here. Check this out, man. This is a dry bag. Waterland fishing, dry bag. Keep all your valuables in there, nice and dry, out there on the water. Boom, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting off into the meat and potatoes here. Let's check it out. I have four more pairs of Waterland optics to show you guys. Some of you guys have been asking about the other models, the other lens colors, and now I'm gonna be able to show you some of the other stuff that Waterland offers. Let's check them out. First of all, you order your shades, they're gonna come in this awesome dry bag, high quality action, keeping your valuables dry out there on the water. Throw your wallet, your car keys, your cell phone off in here. It's gonna be good to go. Let's see, first up, what do we got here? These are gonna be some more Hybros. Let's check them out. Same same uh, frame style that I have on right here in a different color. Also, every pair comes with this awesome hard case. Nice, zip up, keep them protected. Also got a little microfiber cloth in there. Looks like these are the silver mirrored Hybros. Let's check them out. Boom, straight heaters, look at those. These are gonna be good for overcast, cloudy weather when it's not so sunny, but you still need some eye protection. The silver mirrored lenses are gonna be the jam for those type of conditions. Check those bad boys out, man. Heaters. Next up, let's crack off into this one. Let's see what we got here. These are the Millican series. The Millican frames, shout outs to Ben Millican, the homie. These green mirrored lenses, shh, straight heaters. These are gonna give you the best visibility in the water. If you guys are trying to see into the water, then you wanna go with the greens. These right here, cut through, let you see down into the depths like Aquaman and the Millikans. Pretty sick frame style, if I might say so myself. Boom. Next up, what do we got? Some more Hybros, let's check them out. I think these are gonna be the green Hybros. Yes, sir. Straight heaters. The Hybro is my favorite frame style, if you couldn't tell. These are what I wear, and I'm anxious to get these on the face out there on the water. I hear you can just see down into the depths incredibly with the green. I've been rocking the blue mirrored. Now I have the greens as well. Box those up, safe and sound. One more pair to look at, and these I believe are going to be the Haskets. Oh, there are more Hybros. 
I'll take them. Another pair of silver mirrored highbrows. All right, and that does it for the Waterland unboxing. Throw those off to the side. Now we're gonna get off into the baits, but really quick, I wanna mention, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram really soon, at the Justin Royal on Instagram. If you're interested in scoring yourself a pair of free heaters and a dry bag from Waterland, go follow me on Instagram. Set these off to the side. These are gonna be going out to one of you guys. If you're interested in picking up any of these shades for yourself, you can go to waterlandco.com. Use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna give you 35% off of these heaters right now for a limited time only during the launch. 35% off the best optics in the game. I've been getting feedback from people who have already placed their order and received their sunglasses, and it's been nothing but good things, man. People are saying that they're loving the shades, they're loving the way they can see into the water with these things. So if you're interested in scooping some for yourself, waterlandco.com, JR10 at checkout. 35% off of these heaters for a limited Limited time only, check it out. All right, now that we're done with that, let's get off into the baits. Take these off. It is already scorching hot out here in my garage. Woo! All right, so let's get off into this bait video. Now, like I said, this is gonna be my top five summertime baits or bait categories. I'm gonna slide a couple extra baits into each. That way you guys can see some options, some of the stuff I bounce around in between during the summertime. We're just gonna have fun with it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this little bait breakdown, five bait boogie, but it's really gonna be more than five baits. So disclaimer, now you know the deal. It's my top five baits, but it's gonna be more than five baits technically. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff back here on the table. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fluke box because first up in the summertime, I love throwing a weightless fluke. That's right, man. Here's my fluke box, chock full of all different kinds of colors, currently out of the disco greens, but I have some more up here on the tackle wall that I can refill that with. My two go-to colors, the lavender shad, and the Disco Green Disco Biscuit right there. There are multiple ways you can fish the fluke, but when I'm throwing it, typically, I'm gonna be fishing it weightless on fluorocarbon. Some guys like the Texas rig it or drop shot it or whatever, play that whole dying shad game. Me, if I'm fishing a fluke, I'm going after that reaction bite. I'm twitching it around weightless in shallow water or over ledges and drop offs, trying to get a fish to come up and roast it. Now, why do I throw the fluke in the summertime? So, in the summertime, the fish are gonna split off and most of the fish, the bulk of the fish are gonna move out deep. They're gonna sit on that offshore structure or they're gonna stack up underneath and around the marinas, but there will be those hogs. There will be those big ones that go up shallow and sit around docks, up in the rocks, up in cover in the trees, and they'll get up there in the sunshine or in the shade in the middle of the day. I've personally caught monstros during the dead heat of the summer throwing a weightless fluke up shallow. So that is why I always have it in my arsenal during the summertime, a weightless fluke. That's gonna be number one on the list. I pretty much throw this thing year round, honestly. It's a super confidence bait of mine, and as I mentioned, I've caught some serious fish on this thing in the summer. Even up super shallow when you think they wouldn't be up there in the heat, they are. Don't overlook the weightless fluke in the summertime. It's an easy meal for them. They just come out and crack it. Plus, I love fishing that way. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. Now I have some setups over here to the side because I wanted to show you guys what I would throw these baits on. Now, the weightless fluke right now currently have it sitting on the Millican mf -er series, seven foot two inch medium heavy moderate action rod, 15 pound fluorocarbon, four aught EWG hook, SLX DC reel, and that is my current weightless fluke setup. Pitching and twitching up into the shallows or out in schools of bait fish. Love throwing a weightless fluke and that is my number one summertime go-to bait. All right, now for bait number two, we're going with the worm, that's right. I got a bunch of worms over here. Now, in the summertime when I wanna fish slow, it's hard to beat a good old Texas rig worm, especially a larger profile Texas rig worm. This is one of my favorites right here. Watermelon candy, Magnum trick worm from Zoom. Love these things. Typically, if I'm fishing a worm in the summertime, this is what I'll go with, either this, or the seven inch Divine Shaky Worm from Sixth Sense. Two really awesome larger profile worm options. But wait, there's more. You don't have to throw a large profile. And like I said, I'm gonna lump in multiple baits into these categories. And while we're on the plastic worm category, I'm gonna go ahead and cover two other really awesome options. One being the smaller profile, like the Clout 5.4. Also again, watermelon candy. I have some here in watermelon red. If they're not munching the big stuff, maybe give them something a little bit smaller. Or you could even try a more vibrant color, something they maybe haven't seen before, like these Watermelon Dawn Divine Shaky Worms from Sixth Sense. Really unique color, and this can actually be a really good color for clear water as well, which is what I fish a lot, super clear water. I also have some Red Bug. It's another awesome go-to color of mine. Magnum Trick Worms. And I busted these out as well for you guys that like the curly tail worm. Generally, I like a straight tail worm, but these right here, 
Watermelon candy, old monster from Zoom. That's a great option. I also have the green pumpkin Magnum tricks on deck. And last but not least, we can't skip over the Senko style category. I have a big Senko box right here full of all different types, shapes, and colors. A watermelon red, a regular watermelon seed, even white if you want to get crazy with it. I have a couple other straight tail worm options, a little bit smaller profile over here. My point is, one of my favorite baits to throw in the summertime is a plastic worm. So I'm including the Senko style stuff in this category as well. Also, you can't forget about the Ned Fry from Six Sense Fishing. Green pumpkin, green pumpkin blue. As you can tell, I like to throw a lot of green pumpkin variations, a lot of really natural looking stuff, watermelon candy, stuff like that. But if you wanna get wild, you can grab the Red Bugs or the Melon Dawn and throw those vibrant colors as well in the summertime. Now, when it comes to dragging a worm around, I personally prefer a sensitive rod, and that is why you see me here with this Texas rigged seven inch Divine Shaky Worm tungsten bullet weight rigged up on the seven foot, three inch medium heavy unicorn from Sixth Sense Fishing. Extremely sensitive high end rod, and this is my Texas rig setup. I have a couple other rods with worms tied on right now because I've been throwing them a lot, but this is my go to right here. I wanna be able to feel everything that's going on down there in the bottom, tell what kind of structure I'm dragging through and hopping through. Shimano Corrado DC 7.4 to 1 straight 15 pound fluoro car carbon tungsten bullet weight and that is the Texas rig set up for the worms and when I want to downsize and throw something a little bit smaller or a little bit lighter weight like this quarter ounce divine shaky head from Six Sense for example I'm going to go to my sensory series 7.4 medium heavy Shimano SLX DC 15 pound fluorocarbon pretty much the same setup a very similar rod just so I can have two options a heavier Texas rigged option and then like a shaky head option could even go to a wacky rig or something on this generally you might want to throw that on a spinning setup but the sensory series another great option as you you can see I have multiple worms tied on right now. I love dragging, hopping, and shaking a worm around in the summertime. And there's a look at setup number two for the worm. The plastic worm, number two on my list of top five summertime baits to throw. Now we're gonna get off into the fun stuff. Number three, we're going top water. That's right, you guys know the deal. I've been out there smashing them on top water here lately and coming up I have some really awesome top water content where I went off into a cove that was stacked with party boaters and just cracked them on the six cents fishing catwalk. Also, the Dogma, an excellent walking bait option for the summertime. You guys already know I love throwing my walking baits. It's probably my go-to top water style bait right now. I also have another box right here full of walking style baits. Some of these guys, I know you guys probably recognize those. It's another Dogma 100 right there. Some chugging spooks. There's a clear one right there. Supernatural profile. There's actually two Dogma 100s in here. And then, of course, the classic, one of the all-time go-to topwater baits, the old Rebel Pop R. I have several of these stacked up in here as well in multiple colors. My point being, topwater, summertime. In addition to these, you guys know I love plipping and plopping. The prop style baits, man. I have a box full of whopper ploppers in multitude of colors, 110, 130, even the little 90 millimeter guys. Plipping and plopping all summer long. Last year, me and my buddy Jay Gone Fishing got into an awesome squad of fish that were just hammering the whopper ploppers. Chunks. Dude, that fish blew my shoe off. You're good. I got your shoe. All right, I'm gonna vote this thing. Oh, it's a beast. It's a beast. That's Woo! a beast right there. That is what I'm talking about. Oh. Way to go, Jay. Way to go, bro. When you're looking to get them fired up and you want them angry and aggressive, they will just smash the plopper in the summertime like no other. So consider throwing the plopper. If the walking baits aren't doing it for you, those are just a few examples of my favorite top water summertime heaters. Number three on the list, gotta be the top water smoke, baby. Here lately, the jam has definitely been the catwalk. And like I said, I just recently lit them up. Actually, yesterday I was out fishing, smashed them on this thing. Video coming soon. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Make sure you sub to the channel if you're interested in seeing me do some top water fishing in the dead heat midday summertime. Nothing like a midday sunny top water bite. You don't have to fish top water early, early in the morning. You can go out there, clear bluebird skies, find them in the middle of the day, straight smashing top water. And I just did that. So stay tuned if you want to see that video. Now, when it comes to throwing the walking style baits that I mentioned in this category, I'm going to be on the 6'9 medium moderate action Lux series from Six Sense Shimano Karate. DC 7.4 to 1 gear ratio straight braid that right there is the catwalk in Spanish bone straight smashed them on this thing everybody stacked up in the cove with their wake boats party boats blaring music kids jumping off splashing around screaming still got them to light this thing up man stay tuned for the vid it's gonna be a lot of fun also really quick you know I got to mention that if you guys are interested in picking up any of the six cents baits that you see me talk about in this video 
sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win. It's gonna give you 10% off of your entire order. Everything on the website, rods, baits, gear, apparel, shirts, hats, everything, man. JR10 for the win, 10% off your entire order. And if you do use my code, make sure you send me a screenshot on Instagram of that confirmation email that Sixth Sense will send you and I will give you a story shout out. Make sure you follow me because we're about to crack off a giveaway over there on the gram. The next JR10 heaters only power pack giveaway is coming soon. Can't wait to do another one. You guys are already asking when the next giveaway is and we are going to make that happen very soon. And I'm going to include some of these awesome Waterland fishing products in that giveaway. So high value giveaway coming. If you're interested in getting in on the action, go follow me on Instagram at the Justin Royal. All right, next up, it wouldn't be summertime without the deep cranks. That's right. We're talking deep cranking here, guys. Got a bunch of crankbaits laid out here. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of those fish are going to move out offshore and sit on offshore structure. And one of the best ways to access those fish and still get on a reaction bite without having to drag a drop shot around is to throw a deep diving crankbait. Now I have several options sitting out here. Everything from the C6, six foot diving, medium diving crank bait right here all the way to the big stuff the 300 dd this is the crush 300 dd deep diving crankbait from six cents also the cloud 9 c10 is an excellent deep diving option for that 8 to 12 foot range a lot of those fish are going to be in that zone in the summertime also have a couple C15s here on deck. Dives 12 to 19 feet, an excellent option when they won't hit the C10 if you need to get down there a little bit deeper. C15s, the Cloud9 series also comes in C20, C25 options. Something out there for every depth from the six. You guys can score the same heaters that you see me throwing, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win. When it comes to throwing the deep cranks, I'm gonna be using the seven foot, 11 inch, medium heavy, moderate action, Lux series Cloud9 cranker from Six Cents, SLX DC, 15 or 12 pound fluorocarbon depending on how deep I want to go and this right here is a C15 that I was out there throwing yesterday there's a look at the crank and setup for me been loving this rod been putting it to the test having a lot of fun doing so because it is an excellent option for cranking also want to mention the real the gear ratio on this reel 6.3 to 1 let you get down there a little bit deeper a little bit slower make sure you're getting the maximum depth out of these deep diving crankbaits yeah Lux series cloud 9 cranker stoked man a little C15 action Hard to beat in the summertime when they're out there deep. So that's what I like to throw the cranks on. Deep cranking, absolutely hard to beat in the summertime. Crankbait fishing, one of the most fun ways to catch them. And that is my number four summertime bait. Rolling up onto the end of the list now. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, like I said, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us rip our way to 100K and help me color in this bar. Now, last but not least on the list is going to be a method of fishing that I'm just now getting into and I'm quickly falling in love with it. I couldn't resist, I had to include it. I was in between this and one other bait, which I may show you anyway in this video. Stay tuned, bonus baits coming once we finish with the top five, but the wake bait. I have been absolutely smashing them out there on the speed wake and it is fast becoming one of my favorite ways to fish. So much fun to watch the fish come up and hammer these things. And like I said, man, I just couldn't resist adding it to the list. I have a couple different colors right here to show you. This is the blue gilla, nice blue gill imitation, bluegill spawn happening in the summertime. So wanted to have a bluegill option. Also shad scales, another awesome, super realistic shad style pattern bait from the six. I have a lot of gizzard shad in my lake. So this right here is a good option. The wake bait, awesome. Similar to a swim bait, but not really a swim bait. Gonna be up on top making commotion when they won't hit the top water, when they're not hitting the worm and they're not hitting the crank. This will make a little bit of noise up top. They happen to be looking up, maybe show them something a little bit different and get them to smash on the wake bait, creating that nice V swimming through the water. And yeah, I've been enticing them to smash on this lately. And it's so much fun that I had to include it. It's one of my new favorite summertime baits to throw. Number five, rounding out the list, the wake bait. This right here, the speed wake from Six Sense Fishing, absolutely incredible. You can reel it as fast as you want and it will not blow out. So awesome, man. I've been creeping it back pretty much on like a medium retrieve with some erratic action and they've just been hammering it. Another wake bait option from the six is the movement 80 wake, just a little bit smaller profile, similar type of action, swimming through the water, creating that V, a little bit of commotion up top, just in case they're looking up, but they won't commit to a walking bait or a popping bait or a plopper or something like that. The wake baits, man, I had to include them. Couldn't resist. And when it comes to throwing these bad boys, I'm throwing it on the 611 Lux Series, medium heavy, moderate fast action. A little bit more of a moderate bend to this rod. Loads up really nice. I've been finding that this rod is working really well. You want something with a little lighter action, a little more moderate action for throwing the wake baits. So I've been told, like I said, wake bait fishing is new to me. Got it on a Shimano Corrado DC, 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon line. And that has been my go-to wake bait setup here lately. And I've been crushing them out there. So much fun to catch them on this. If I can 
can get them to bite this, this is what I'm throwing. It's so awesome to watch them come up and eat it, man. And that is my number five go-to summertime bait. Currently, the list is always changing. I'm always upgrading, updating, educating, alternating, figuring out what I want to do, adjusting your mindset, and the way you fish is a big part of bass fishing, something that I'm always doing. But right now, currently, if I had to roll through the top five, those are the top five. Those are the baits that have been getting it done for me here lately. It is hot here in Texas. We're mid-June, and the days have been hot, and I've been catching them on all of these baits recently. So that is why I chose to add them to my list. But wait, there's more. Like I said, we're going to throw in some bonus baits here. It's hard to keep it to just five, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some other standouts, some showstoppers, some summertime heaters, just to give you guys a few more options if you're out there wondering what to throw in the summertime or wondering what I would personally throw in the summertime. These are my favorite top five baits. Your top five bait list may be totally different. I know a lot of people like to throw a large profile football jig in the summertime. A lot of people like to drop shot in the summertime. These are just my personal favorites. That's what we're going through. Not saying these are the best, not saying these are the best options for you. I'm saying these are my top five. These are my favorite options for the summertime. So let's get into the bonus baits. I know a lot of you guys out there are wondering why I haven't mentioned this bait. And of course, of course, summertime is an excellent time for frogging. I have a small frog box here. Frogging is something that a lot of people do in the summertime. A lot of people rave about frog fishing and how much fun it is. Personally, the lake that I'm on is not really the best for frog fishing. So I don't do a lot of it here, but I do have some frogs and the frog is an excellent bait to throw in the summertime. Yes, especially early in the morning. There are some lakes around here that I hope to get on and be able to do some more frog fishing this summer. So hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some frog content soon. I have some friends that absolutely love to frog fish. Maybe I can get them to take me out and show me the ropes. This is my current frogging setup. This is the Lux Series 7 foot 5 inch extra heavy fast action rod Shimano Corrado K on there. The only non DC reel in my lineup. Straight 50 pound braid to the six cents Vega frog. Been throwing this. Got a couple blow ups on it. If you had to hook into one, like I said, my leg not the best for frogging but I will be doing more frogging and hopefully I'll be able to hit some ponds, throw some frogs out and get one to smash on this thing. There's the frog setup. It wouldn't be summertime if I didn't include the frogs in this video, right? I know some of you were thinking it. Well, there it is, guys. I did break out the frogs for this vid and I did want to include them as a bonus bait. Also, bluegill spawn in the summer. You guys know I love to throw a swim jig. A bluegill pattern swim jig is an excellent summertime option. This bluegill will be sitting up there shallow. Bass will be munching and you can't neglect the bluegill style swim jig. The divine swim jig from Sixth Sense Fishing is my go-to swim jig, the best swim jig on the planet in my opinion, and one of my favorite baits to throw, definitely one of my confidence baits, and I always have a bluegill style pattern sitting nearby in the summertime. Also, like I said, the bluegill will be sitting up shallow, so a small square bill in bluegill pattern is not a bad option to have on deck. This is the Crush 50 from Sixth Sense, and this is the baby bluegill pattern. Awesome summertime option for all those shallow bluegill, just in case you might find a monstro cruising up there in inches waiting for an easy bluegill meal in the shallow waters in the summertime. Now the last bait that we're going to talk about in this video is one that I have yet to get bid on. The final bonus bait. It was hard not to include this in the main list as well because let me tell you, the big ones come out to play in the summer, especially at the end of springtime, early summer. It's an awesome time to throw a big profile swim bait. I've been out there trying to get bid on this thing lately. I know the monstros are out there and this is a good way to bring them up and get them to eat. This is the Flow Glider 130 from Sixth Sense. Throwing it on the Shimano Tranks 200 and a million an mf -er swim bait rod. If you guys dig the swim bait stuff, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. I have a package on the way, currently stuck somewhere in between California and Texas. I ordered a bunch of awesome swim baits from Tackle Warehouse and UPS has just dropped the ball on the shipment. It stopped, it was supposed to be delivered like several days ago now and it hasn't even moved. So I don't know what's going on with it, but I assure you as soon as it arrives, we'll be opening it, unboxing it together and taking a look at all of the swim bait options that I decided to go with. Hopefully we'll be able to get out there and smash on a swim bait fish sooner than later. I've been trying. It's been tough. Haven't been bit yet, but it's in the works. I feel like we're on the backside of that window now as far as prime time swim bait fishing, but I did want to include it in the list because I know a lot of guys like to throw a big swim bait in the summertime. Myself included, even though I haven't caught one yet, I will be doing that until I do. So the last bonus bait in this video is a big profile swim bait. Yeah, top five, not so much a top five, but I did want to go through and show you guys all of these baits. Hopefully you enjoyed the breakdown. One more time, I'll go through the list really quick. Number one, weight fluke, number two, large profile worm, or just a plastic worm. Texas rig is generally the way I like to throw it. Number three is going to be that top water smoke. The catwalk from Sixth Sense Fishing has been my go-to lately, but I love plipping and plopping with the whopper plopper or any of the other awesome walking style baits that I have in my arsenal. Can't forget about that Rebel Pop R either. Number four, deep cranking. Super fun way to fish. I love crankbait fishing. And when 
you need to access those deeper fish, but you still want to get on a reaction strike and don't feel like dragging a worm around, the deep diving crankbait is an awesome option. Don't sleep on the Cloud9 series from Sixth Sense. These are my favorite hard baits in the game. Absolutely love everything that they put out, especially their crankbaits. Awesome option for deep cranking in the summertime. Number five, the newbie on the list, the Speed Wake. Wake bait, having an awesome time. An absolute blast out there throwing the wake baits. So I had to include them in the list, but I had some bonus baits thrown in there for you guys as well, like the bluegill pattern swim jig, the bluegill pattern square bill, the swim baits, and the frogs. You guys know the deal. Heaters only, literal heaters only in the summertime, mid-June now, getting super hot, and this is a good time to throw all of these baits. Yes, we could drop shot. Yes, you could talk about some more finesse type stuff, but these are my favorite ways to fish in the summertime. These are the baits that I have the most fun throwing, and for me, that's what it's all about. Getting out there and having fun, throwing some of your favorite baits in the heat of the day out there in the summertime. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us fill in the bar on a mission to get that silver play button. I would love to have you guys riding along. Also, if you're interested in the shades or anything that you saw from Waterland, any of the apparel, waterlandco.com, JR10 at checkout, 35% off of these amazing optical eyewear heaters. My favorite shades in the game. And yes, I did put my high bros back on. They're too sweet, man. Wanted to save the green lenses, keep them clean for the next time I'm out there on the water. Also, any of the Sixth Sense fishing products that you see in my videos, I can help you save money there as well. JR10 at checkout on sixthsensefishing.com. 10% off everything on the website. If you guys enjoyed the video and you're interested in learning more about how you can support the channel, I encourage you to go down below into the video description, read around. There's multiple ways to support. I've got discount codes and multiple ways for you to supremely support the channel down there in that video description. So take a look if you have the time. I've got some fun unboxings coming your way. As I mentioned, the swim baits are supposedly on the way. As soon as they get here, we'll be taking a look at those. I also have some more heaters on the way from the six. So some fresh six cents unboxings are also coming to the channel. Make sure you guys stick around for that. Subscribe to the channel with the notification bells on and maybe we can hit that 100k one day with your guys help i appreciate you all watching but i think that about does it about wraps are on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you guys on the next one